Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net and in this video I want to show you one of the best examples of a perfect C swing I think I've ever seen. Check out this footage of Radek Stepanik, former number eight in the world in singles, number four in doubles. This video is courtesy of Essential Tennis, so thanks guys for allowing me to use this footage. Just look at the perfect circular swing he is using where it looks like his racket is drawing the letter C. This is one of the most classic ways to swing the racket on the forehand for both racket speed, so you can generate spin and pace, but also being able to handle a fast ball coming in. See, when a ball comes really fast to you, you want to use a swing that doesn't require you to stop the racket. So see, if you take your racket down, your racket has to stop. If your racket goes straight back, it has to stop. But if you draw the C, so it looks like I'm drawing a letter C here, if I use the C swing, the racket never has to stop. And that, yes, it allows me to hit with pace and power and depth and spin, but it also allows me to handle a very fast ball coming in. Because when you draw this letter C, the racket doesn't have to stop to get up to contact. Where players pull back and they stop, or they go down and they stop and they're generally late the faster and deeper the ball comes to them. So I want you to practice with your Topspin Pro. So get a Topspin Pro, my link in, is in the description below. Start by practicing this C swing where you're not gonna let the racket go down but initially it goes up. This is how you get effortless racket speed. What I love about Radix forehand is that it's just effortless. At no time does it look like he was really trying to wrench the ball and hit it super hard. He was relaxed using this C swing. Now, the size of the C can change. So think about like an actual letter C. You can have a capital C or a lowercase C. So you can take the racket higher for more racket speed or you can make a smaller C to be able to handle the pace. You don't have to use the same size C for every shot. Let's say the ball is coming really low, well your C can be down here. Let's say the ball is really high, well then your C is gonna be up here. You can modify the letter C and the size of it and the height of it based on the contact. But learn the C swing, the way Radek Stepanik used. And there's no doubt, you're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.